Hello, in here, please. In previous courses that make up the CCNA collaboration certification, you learnt about traditional telephony networks as well as voice over IP networks. You would have learnt about traditional telephony terms such as rotary dial telephones, DTMF tones, the PSTN, and other traditional telephony terms and definitions. Previous courses also discussed how traditional telephony moved to voice over IP networks. When I started teaching Cisco Call Manager many years ago, I was told by traditional PBX engineers that voice over IP would never happen. In those days, Cisco Call Manager 3.0 had just been released and voice over IP was the new technology providing dial tone using an IP infrastructure rather than traditional telephony cables. Cisco introduced multiple handsets over the years, but these handsets were designed to carry voice over IP. And since those days, things have now moved on. With the advent of technologies such as Skype or Google Hangouts, most users are used to not just making voice over IP calls, but also combining video with voice over IP. Cisco have a range of enterprise products that now integrate video with your handset. So video is often called the new dial tone of today. Setting up a video call should be as easy as making a voice over IP call or a traditional voice call. These days, point to point video calls are enabled within handsets. But not only that, video conferencing should be as easy to set up as it is to make an audio call between two handsets. So these days, Cisco offer a range of video conferencing solutions. And that's gonna be the focus of this course. We're going to be looking at video and collaboration technologies. This course is part of a series of courses taking you from the basics of terms used in video and collaboration all the way to actually configuring and integrating video in a voice over IP network. So let's get started on our journey to video and collaboration. The CIV and D exam is one of two exams that you'll need to pass to attain the CCNA collaboration certification. To make the most of your CCNA collaboration journey, you should have already watched the CICD videos that are part of this CCNA collaboration series or be familiar with the content in those courses. As an example, you should know what the Nyquist theorem is. You should know what a POTS dial peer is versus a VoIP dial peer. You should know about audio codecs such as G729 and G711. If any of those sound unfamiliar, please refer to the CICD courses that are part of the CCNA collaboration series to ensure that you meet the prerequisites for the CIV and D. Now the CICD course focused mainly on audio technologies, traditional as well as VoIP. In the CIV and D courses, however, we are concentrating on video and video technologies, such as point-to-point -point video calls and conferences, as well as other technologies that leverage Cisco video. So in summary, the CCNA collaboration certification consists of two exams, the 210060 CID exam, or implementing Cisco collaboration devices, as well as the 210065 CIV and D, or implementing Cisco video network devices. Now, if you view this information on the Cisco website, what you'll notice is Cisco have two courses for CIV and D. They have a CIV and D1 course and a CIV and D2 course. If you were attending instructor-led training, you would have to take the self-paced CIV and D1 course and then attend an instructor-led CIV and D2 course. 